Hi, this is Universal Missionary, and I am here to do another video on Star Trek Timelines. Um, and the purpose of the video today is just to uh, kind of share and see what uh, what we all get on this um, uh, premium pack. I had purchased one earlier today, and I haven't really opened it yet. And I want to share it with you and see what uh, uh, see what uh, kind of characters we get. And um, I'd like to get your feedback and try to see well, what uh, kind of crew members that you have. Tell me what your best crew members are and um, uh, what you like. And uh, also to <clears throat> try to figure out... Um, I'd like to get your feedback on, on how this uh, mega event is going on and what you think of it. Uh, I'd like to take a few moments just to let you know that... Um, I really did like that first uh, event on the uh, on the uh, space fights. Uh, I forget what they call them. Um, and the thing is, is that it turned out pretty good. I mean, it was a great way to get some uh, great um, items, uh, chronotons. Uh, the rewards were really great. They were very generous the first time. Uh, we got a lot of chronotons, a lot of honor, and a lot of credits. And uh, I think I ended up getting about three to four million credits uh, throughout the event, as well as uh, getting about fifteen thousand honor and about maybe you know probably about four thousand uh, chronotons overall. And so it was a really great event. I don't know if uh, um, I don't know if the producers or uh, the uh, the team here at DB is going to uh, continue uh, to let that be the normal standard. I mean, but uh, for starters, it turned out to be really good. And um, well, I mean, uh, the last event is coming up this week, and I don't know what it's going to be about. Um, but you know, it's really nice that uh, that they do uh, throw in those uh, those uh, characters where you can get four out of five uh, legendary characters. Uh, but I, I don't think it's ever going to be enough. I mean, at the end of the day, this is really the best way to really boost your crew and try to see how you can do. Uh, it is really hard to get legendaries. It is really hard to get uh, a master crew. Uh, my goal uh, is to try to get characters that represent all of the factions uh, in legendary. Um, I have Romulans. I have... Ferengi, I have Federation, of course. Uh, I have, um, let's see, Dominion. I just got the Founder a couple of days ago, so that one's really nice. Uh, I need a Section 31. I need a Hyrogen. I need um, uh, a Bajoran, five star character. And then, of course, I need. Um, and, and when I say I need a Bajoran character, uh, I think at the end of the day, uh, we're looking for somebody like Kai Wynn. Uh, I do have, of course, Cisco. I mean, he's he's considered a, a Bajoran uh, only in the sense that he represents the prophets and everything. But I'm really looking for an original uh, Bajoran. Uh, I also I do have a five star, a four out of five star Cardassian, uh, and that's the pirate Pirate Ducat. Uh, and then, of course, I have a lot of Vulcans and uh, such. Um, and then just let me know give me your feedback and let's go ahead and get started on the uh, event pool okay and just before i start let me let me just show you a little bit about the crew that i have that i've uh, assembled i have 143 uh crew and i have a total of eight legendary characters uh, most of them have been from the uh, mega events that have occurred but not all of them uh i've got uh, immortal tempt data uh, immortal Dark Ages McCoy. I may need a doctor. Immortal uh, Lieutenant Commander Judzia Dax. And I have Immortal Captain Scott. And so, ready, as um, I like him for the uh, the battles, uh, for the um, <coughs> arena battles. I have a 4 out of 5 star Orion Vina. And I have a Paw Wraith Cult to Khan. I. I need to try to see if I can get Kuvma up to five stars. He's really good for, um, he's really good for um, the uh, shuttle battles. And I have several three out of five star characters. And here is my my Captain Cisco, Musketeer LaForge, 
Locutus. I am Locutus. And I have Q, Judge Q, Admiral Riker, Jesse Uniform Scotty, Joe to Phil Wrathful Khan, Mobile Doctor, General Chang, Gangster Kirk, Sean Archer, Yarnick. I've got two Taurus, I've got an assimilated Taurus, and then I have a duelist Taurus. Captain Pike, Bartender Guinan. Klingon Janeway, and then from here on, a, b- a bunch of one stars and stuff. Uh, I have Lincoln, I've got Frank okay. Hollander, Temporal Agent Daniels, Gangster Spock, Niner Cisco, Grilka. Um, some of these are, have been really try. helpful Augment Picard, Assimilated LaForge, The One Lore, Chancellor Garron. Uh, and then, of course, some of these have been won from uh, from um, Gauntlet Battles, such as Caretaker. And then others have been uh, won by just sheer luck, you know? Some of these are giveaways, such as ABC right Archer, Convergence State Quark. And, you know, that's about it, you know? Uh, and then, of course, some of these are special characters, like the Dura sisters, and then I have Thought Gore from the the, um, uh, the voyages that I've gotten. You know, I've worked on these characters for quite a while. I mean, and and you know, this is not necessarily about bragging. You know, there's always going to be people that are going to be better than me, and so at the end of the day, you know, it's just simply about enjoying the game, and which is what I hope to uh, to convey to uh, our audience. And uh, you know. If you haven't had the chance, uh, join in, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be doing more videos. Uh, I'd like to share some videos uh, about Gauntlet, about how, in my opinion, I think it's ridiculous. Uh, Sometimes some of the losses I have. I'm going to do a separate video on that later today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on all the pulls. Uh, This will probably take about seven to eight minutes or so, simply because I want to discuss with you what I get. All right, let's get started. Usually right here, uh, when you get a three star at the very beginning, uh, that's generally going to indicate that you're going to get a behold of four or five stars. Um, and so that's uh, kind of a dead giveaway right there, which is good. And so, well, I already have Picard. I have um, the four star Ranger Picard. Um, I believe this is what, Galen? No, this is uh, just different Picard. Uh, obviously, I'm going to go ahead and choose him. So that concludes our first poll. And so, and um, at the same time, you get a good chance of getting some schematics. Uh, I have all of these filled up, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. I also wanted to mention that I all have all of my three stars. Uh, they're all filled out, so I don't really don't need these, so this is just simply going to go pretty much as an honor dump. And uh, here comes another Behold. Well, this is, is, is going to be an interesting one. Uh, I really don't know what to choose. I already have Quartar, so I'm good with that. But um, this is going to be really interesting because uh, I, I love Data. A lot of people really like this character. Uh, but I already have four Datas. Um, you know, let's go ahead and highlight and see what he offers. I mean, he's Android, Starfleet, Federation, Cyberneticist, Undercover Operative, Musician, Romulan. A lot of good character traits. Um, if any of you are trying to um, get the uh, uh, the collections, um, this character is good under the Romulan uh, under the uh, under the Romulan um, trait, 
and uh, if you get him uh, immortalized, then he will count for the Romulan one. So uh, I'm kind of undecided. I'm a little bit leaning toward Data simply because I like him a lot. Let's go ahead and highlight Troy. Uh, Troy, Troy, you know, basically Durango Troy. This is uh, she would uh, correspond under really none of the characters um, that count toward your collections. I mean, except for one, I think the Wild West one. Uh, and I am trying to get a complete Wild West one, uh, but I already have Sheriff Orf, and I already have uh, uh, Frank Collinger, and then I have uh, Claiborne. Uh, I forget what his name is, but he's the uh, one of the original Star Trek characters. I think uh, Chekhov, Claiborne Chekhov. So uh, I have one good Troy, and let's see. So she's empath. And I think that if I could recommend, uh, I'd also like to recommend that, uh, you know, to the producers there at Doug, uh, uh, that they should add some new car categories to the uh, collections. Uh, I think costume would be a really good one. And then uh, for this one, I think undercover operative should be a good uh, should be a good one, a good trait. Uh, I already have Cortar, as you can see, he's already maxed out, so obviously I don't really want him. Uh, and so, um, simply, you know, what, what would you choose? If you were uh, to decide between these two and you had the option, who would you choose? Would you choose Data or would you choose Troy? I'm going to go ahead and choose Data, simply because I really do like him a lot. And so, let's go ahead and get the next poll. Okay, so here you get Burrell, so that one's going to indicate to you that that's more than likely what you're going to get, uh, hardly, uh, rarely anything more. You know, you might get something, uh, but it would be a surprise, but once you get this to pop out at the beginning, uh, chances are you're not going to get anything else good. Um, so that's how that works. Uh, I'm not really interested in these guys. I, I do think I need some of these, so that's not bad. Uh, the next thing that comes to my mind is, um, I'm also trying to get other characters, uh, maximized, so I'm hoping that I can get a chance, uh, if a Behold comes out, I can choose, um, you know, a star on my, uh, on one of the existing legendary characters that I have. I don't have Lol. Uh, Lala is nice, you know, but I'm not necessarily sure I'd like to have her. Um, but for now, you know, she, she'll stay uh, on the selection here. Well, that was kind of strange, wasn't it? A little um, hiccup there on on the game. interesting so um, these are all great four character ladies um, and at the end of the day I uh, I'm not a big fan of Kira so I can tell you this right now I'm not gonna choose Kira uh, Kira is definitely not somebody that I, I really like although I do have Cardassian Kira and I, I kind of like her so I'm really really leaning toward uh, Troy, I think, at this point in time, but Valeris is really good. Uh, Valeris is obviously very good in Gauntlet, uh, so she does have a lot to offer in that in that area. And um, so, at the end of the day, uh, her, let me highlight her stats really quick: Vulcan, Saboteur, Starfleet Federation, Resourceful, Telepaths. She doesn't have really anything that can really contribute to the collection, but Troy does. Troy does have the uh, the Romulan. Uh, one that really adds to the collection and so if you're really trying to get collections uh, really the best thing to do uh, make sure that you get 
all of your one, two, and three stars out of the way. Uh, that will really build up your collection fast. And four stars are obviously easier to get than five. Uh, Troy also has the special designation of the Tal Shiar. Uh, so she also has a lot of a lot of ones. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Troy. And finally, the last thing is, is that when you get a Mihold right before the very end, uh, at eight or nine slots, that generally means that you're going to also get a Mihold at the very end. Uh, the game, you know, is generous in that respect. Uh, here we have Spock. I'm not really interested in getting Spock. Uh, I'm not really interested in getting Apollo. Uh, although I do have stats for him. And a lot of people are really into Uhura. Uh, let's kind of highlight really quick and see what they have to offer. Um, let's see. Um, he doesn't have any of the stats that you need for collections, so forget about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, she doesn't necessarily have any of the stats that you need for collection. Um, Apollo does. Apollo has the inspiring one. Uh, so he definitely has the, um, he has that one. Uh, once again, I'm not a big fan of uh, Apollo. Um, I would rather just simply get Uhura because I think she's more interesting. Um... But she's Terran Empire. I'd rather have a regular one. So let's go ahead and just choose Apollo today. So I'm going to ask you all a question really quick. And give me your feedback on the results. And tell me what you think. Uh, how do you build your uh, your collections? How do you build your characters? Uh, do you do a lot of honor dumps? Uh, do you hold on to all the characters that you get? Um, you know, how, how do you do that? I mean, do you have a lot of characters that you still haven't, uh, maximized or fully fused or gotten to a hundred? Give me your feedback and let me know. Okay. Generally what I do is I try to, you know, minimize the kind of characters I work with at, at one time. So that way I have characters, uh, ready to go when, when events come in. And that's pretty much how I work. I mean, I, 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 I do a lot of honor dumps, so I try to get my, uh, my legendaries up as fast as I can. That's my approach. So, here comes another Behold. Uh, hopefully it's a 5-star. You know... I haven't seen any sort of the special, newer ship schematics, so I would like to get some of that. Behold. No, all of these I have, so this is pretty much going to be 200 free honor, so this one's pretty worthless. Uh, if you had to choose, which one would you choose? Um, I like LaForge because he always has... Um, He's got some of the best stats in arena combat. Uh, I would choose him if I if I didn't have any of these guys. I already got this guy. So he's just another honor dump. Uh, another question I guess I should bring up to you all is uh, if you happen to have another a character fully fused, um, do you uh, basically put them in cryostasis and then work on a, another one of the same type? Uh, how many of you do that? I mean, there are some people that I've seen uh, that have the same character more than once. So give me your feedback on that. And here's David. I'm not really particularly interested in him. And that's all she writes. Chances are I will probably get some honor, uh, some ship schematics, and I'll probably be able to get this one leveled up today. 
Two more pulls. Let's see what we get. I already have Janeway, so that's another honor dump. For once, I'd like the game to surprise me a little bit. <laughs> and that's about all she writes on that one. Let's hope for Behold for the last pull. <laughs> Once again, the glitch. So this is pretty much looking like what it's going to get. So the only character I really think that I might end up getting is just the Romulan data. So at the end of the day, tell me what you guys think. I mean, do you think uh, these kind of purchases are really worth it? Is it really worth making the investment on these kind of uh, purchases? I mean, uh, I had one offer the other day. Um... God, 30 of these pulls for $49.99 plus $1,500 dilithium. And I'm like, I don't know what kind of insane person would spend that kind of money. But I, did, I have spent that money before. Uh, I don't really want to spend that anymore. I think that I, I, I would rather just work on it uh, a little bit less aggressively. And so at this point in time, that pretty much concludes my video. Uh, hit like and subscribe and see what you think. Give me your feedback. Thanks for watching Universal Missionary Star Trek Timelines. Have a great day.